Hey, how's it going on YouTube? Welcome back to yet another amazing video. And in this video today, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize Marvel Rivals Season 5 for better FPS, better performance, fix all kind of flags and stutter. So make sure to watch this guy till the end. And with all that said, let's get started with the intro. Alright, step number one is the best window settings and for that simply search for settings on your PC, come down to personalization and then click on colors. Then you're gonna have to disable transparency effects as this will disable windows and surfaces appear translucent. Then click on gaming and then click on game bar and turn this thing off. It is an overlay service and I would highly recommend you guys not to leave it on. Then go back to gaming, head over to game mode and turn this thing on. It will help you to turn off your background applications and allow your PC to optimize its performance. Right under that you'll find graphic settings, click on that. And then you're gonna have to enable optimizations for windowed games as this will help you to reduce latency by using advanced features in compatible games. Then click on advanced graphic settings and enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling as this will utilize your physical physical graphic card to render the games. Then you're gonna have to click on add desktop app button over here and go to the download location of Marvel Rivals. If you're not sure about that, right click on Marvel Rivals, click on manage and then click on browse local files. Over here, scroll the bit down until you find Marvel Rivals over here. Once you're over here, you have to go over to Marvel Game, Marvel, Binaries, Win64 and then you'll find the Marvel Win64 Shipping.exe. You have to copy this file path and now click on add desktop app button over here. Simply paste the file path and then select the Marvel Rival Win64 shipping over here. If that is already added, scroll down to find it and then for the GPU preference, change it to high performance over here. This will disable power saving features and utilize your graphic card for higher performance. Once it's done, simply close it. Next step is deanimating windows and for that simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows. Then select adjust for best performance. Now select save as well thumbnail previews, show thumbnails instead of icons, show window contents while dragging and smooth edges of screen fonts. Other than that, keep everything disabled. This will help you to disable unwanted animations and slightly improve the performance of your windows. Then click on advance over here and now you have to set up your virtual memory. Click on the change button over here and deselect automatically manage paging file size. Select your local disk C, click on custom size and for the initial size set this to 1000 2024. Now for the maximum size, open up your calculator. Now I have 32 GB RAM, so I have to divide the RAM by 2. If you have 16 GB, you have to divide that by 2. Then multiply this value with 1024 to get the memory size in megabytes. Set this thing over here, so 16384 and then click on set button. Then click on OK and simply close it. Next step is fixing all of your packet loss, ping issues and other related issues using lag or fast and you can download this for free from the link in the description below. Once you open it up, you should an interface like this and you will find more than 1000 games to choose from. All you have to do is simply search for Marvel Rivals over here, select it and then choose the nearest server to you. You can leave it to automatic until acquire the fastest node with the lowest amount of ping possible for you guys. Simply select that and click on one click boost. It will help you to connect your PC straight to the game servers without any hindrance helping you to fix all kind of network issues. And if that is not enough, it offers you a ton of game tools wherein you can boost boost your FPS, apply the best graphic settings to fix all kind of black screen issues, game crashing issues and other issues. It also has a memory optimization assistant. Simply click on auto clear and select optimize memory and it will release and free up your RAM for gaming if that is causing any issues. It has decompression boost tool over here as well. Simply select your game drive and click on enable and it will help you to boost your FPS as well. Other than that, it offers you a Windows 11 lag fix and DirectX 12 component installation, both of which helps you to optimize the performance of your PC. And it also has an inbuilt FPS booster when you can apply best CPU settings to optimize the performance of your CPU furthermore. Currently there is a Black Friday sale going on and if you want to purchase LagoFast for yourself, use code BF2025 and you guys will be saving up to $200 in the subscription fees. Once again, I have left a free download link to LagoFast right in the description below for you guys to go and check it out for yourself. Next step is disabling background applications and for that simply search for edit group policy over here. Once you're over here, double click on computer configuration then administrative templates, windows components app privacy and then you'll find let windows apps run in the background double click to open it up and make sure to set this thing to enable then default for all applications should be set to force deny and this will deny all of the applications running in the background click on apply and then simply close it and close the local group policy editor next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point select local disk c click on create and name it marvel rivals just so you can remember it i would highly recommend you guys not to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any data loss once that is done close it and close this 
list of properties. Then the next step is Marvel Rivals season five FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You guys will find seven simple folders over here. All of them are designed to optimize the performance of your PC. The first one is CPU priority in which I have left AMD and Intel CPU priority. This will help you to optimize the performance of your processor by setting up the correct D word value in the registries and you can apply according to your PC by double clicking on it. Under the RAM optimization in the second folder, you have to select the RAM that you've installed on your PC. I have left a ton of presets as per your system. I use 32 GB so I have to double click and apply this one which I've already done. Once again, if you do not get the desired output, you can double click to reset this to default. Third folder over here is Marvel Rivals Priority in which I have left above normal, high priority and normal priority. I'd recommend you guys to leave your PC specs down in the comments below. I'll be telling you guys which priority you need to choose over here. Fourth one is Disable Unwanted Services in which I have left a ton of services which are absolutely useless but they're still running in the background consuming your useful system resources. Except Bluetooth or printer services, I would recommend you guys to disable every single one of them. And if that doesn't work out well for you guys or you want to re-enable any of them back, double click on Revert Registries folder to turn them back on. Fifth folder here is Power Plan Settings in which I have left Import Ultimate performance power plan you're gonna have to right click and then run it as administrator this will add a new power plan onto your pc which is gonna be really useful double click on power plans and then select ultimate performance which should be added under this list this will help you to disable all kind of power saving features on your pc including your hardware and your software to optimize its performance. Once that is done, close it and then you can come back. Sixth folder here is input delay improvements in which I have left keyboard latency fix under which I have left a ton of buffers. Leave your keyboard model name down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which keyboard buffer you need to choose over here. For mouse latency registries, I have left fixed mouse curve which is a setting inspired by the pro. It helps you to optimize your mouse sensitivity, smoothen X and Y curves to optimize the performance of your mouse and reduce unwanted input lag. Simply double click to apply that. Last is programs in which I have left clean temporary files. You will have to right click and then run it as administrator. This will run a command prompt in front of you. Simply press enter and this will delete all temporary files. And I would highly recommend you guys to do it every now and then to keep your PC optimized. Then MSI mode utility 3.0. Simply run this as administrator. This simple software is used to optimize the performance of your graphic card. Select your graphic card from this list and make sure that the MSI button next to it is checked. Then for the interrupt priority, select high and then click on the apply button. This will optimize the performance of your graphic card, reduce unwanted input latency and render latency. Once that's done, close it and close this FPS pack. Next step is cleaning up your shader cache. For that, you have to open up disk cleanup on your PC. Simply select your local disk C and open it up. Then select your windows error reports, delete text shader cache, deliver optimization files, recycle bin and temporary file. Make sure that everything is selected, click on OK and then simply click on delete files. This will force your game to re-render all of the shaders and it will fix any kind of issues that might be caused by the errors in the shaders. Next step is best in game settings and for that simply open up your game. Once you're in the game, head over to the settings tab and click on settings over here. Come over to display settings and then make sure that your target displays your native monitor and the display mode is set to borderless window. This will help you to give better performance if you are using DLSS. Otherwise, you can go with full screen. Now for the anti-aliasing and super resolution type, I would recommend you guys to go with NVIDIA DLSS if you have your NVIDIA graphic card, FSR 3 if you have AMD graphics card or Intel Zest if you have an Intel based graphics. For the super resolution mode, you can go with balanced performance or quality all three of them are absolutely good and you have to find out which one works best for your pc for me quality does that frame generation mode you can turn it off however if your graphic card is rtx 40 series or above you can simply go with the nvidia dlss frame generation nvidia reflex low latency should be enabled vsync should be set to disabled and then under the graphics tab all of these things should be set to low also for the reflection quality you can go with off and only the texture detail should be set to medium once all of that is done simply click on restart the shader reloading and uh, once the shader reloading is done you can drop into the game with the highest fps possible so guys that was it for this video i hope i could have helped you out if i could have make sure to leave a like and smash that subscribe button as it really helps me grow the channel we are very close to 250,000 subscribers and your support is appreciated i'll see you all in another amazing video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out